and then there were two. Hey everyone, I'm Jackie Jing reporting straight from snowy Sweden and it's SI 2022 debrief for day 10. There were two big games today, so let's dive straight into them. Up first was a clash that we'd been waiting for for three days now and it would decide our first team in the grand final. Team Empire are fondly known as the Russian cyborgs, but weren't really rated coming into this event despite their Mexico major grand final appearance. But once here, they flexed their land muscle and finished top of their group and went on an anti-NA bender. Down went SSG and Sonics and up next were TSM. TSM for their part had to resort to the NA qualifier to get here and people weren't sure about having Merck on the IGL role. But Merck caught on fire and dropped huge numbers in almost every game and of course had Bolo accompanying him. Despite an upset loss to Elevate, TSM themselves had pulled off an incredible upset yesterday against Liquid and were not to be underestimated. Unfortunately for them, the T-1000s were out for blood. Despite Bank being TSM's pick, it was Empire who'd hidden some clever strats on it and took a surprising 7-4 victory. Though I guess Bolo was trying his hardest to emulate that aimbot energy with this shot. But on a cafe where both teams' records had been virtually even, Empire fell flat on their metal faces. 7-2 read the scoreline with Dan embarrassed by a frost mat in one of the rounds. It was Coastline then that would be the backdrop for the grand final qualification decider. And this one was truly an absolute slugfest, as both teams kept trading rounds. But Empire had been on defense, and three on coastline defense is very good. Sure enough, the Cyborgs came out on top and erased TSM from the upper bracket and confirmed their spot in the grand final. And to find TSM's opponents in tomorrow's lower bracket final, we had the all-Brazil matchup between MIBR and FaZe. MIBR had been on a tear through the lower bracket so far. While FaZe were looking to follow up their Sweden major win with a Sweden SI, win. FaZe had picked Cafe and they won Cafe 7-5 as Bullet lost his mind after a brilliant clutch from Souls. It was False who took the chance for a clutch of his own on the next map and MIBR were looking fearsome again after a 7-4 win. But the final map was not close at all for FaZe with Astro laying down the law with a massive 4k on course to a 7-3 map win and a date booked with TSM. So what did you think of today's games? Just three teams and two games left tomorrow? Leave a comment on who you think will be our new world champions. And while you're in the comments letting us know, be sure to subscribe and go follow us on Twitter to stay on top of all the madness in Sweden. And follow me at Jackie Jing. If you want to see more of the numbers that everyone has been putting up in the Six Invitational, head on over to the CHGG competitions page. And of course, stay tuned to CHGG everywhere you can to keep up with all things Rainbow Six. See you tomorrow.